Hey guys, Big Rat 3! Today is back again for his backlash predictions. Before I get questions about it, what's on my neck? It's a cross, got it? I am a very religious man, but I, d no one leaves a comment. I don't talk about religion and politics on YouTube because I've seen the bloodthirsty comments that ROH Styles gets, that Spinternet, I've seen a couple of him. Of religion and politics. I refuse to talk about it here because I get people call me a fucking cunt for overrating a match. If I talk about where a country's going or or my faith and all that crap, imagine imagine the criticism I'll get. So please, I have a rule, if you leave a comment about politics and religion, I will block you. Even if it's good saying, yeah, big rat, I totally agree with you. We really shouldn't talk about that stuff, I will still block you. Please, I don't want to talk about it on here. Please, just let me get to my faith and my political beliefs. We're all fine. If you guys really want to know that much, fine. I'm very Catholic. And political-wise, I choose not to pick a party because there's some stuff I like for the Republicans, some stuff I despise, and same with the Democrats. And what I hate about picking a party is every year, every time election day comes around, even though I'm not referring to any election in particular, your candidate can be totally fucking stupid. It can be horrible. But because he's part of your party, you're going to support him. You're not even going to vote for the other guy, even though the other guy might be even be the better guy for the job. And so I choose not to pick a party. I play by ear. Uh, whichever candidate I find is the better candidate, that's the one I will root for. I really don't like picking a party because if some shit guy comes along who doesn't know what he's doing, he's a part of my party, so I have to support him, and I have to vote for him according to society. So no. No, not talking about religion, not talking about politics on here. I wear a cross, I might wear, I might wear a little more often, so please don't leave a message about it. Let's get serious. Backlash. I haven't seen a lot of backlash predictions. I mean, I have like 70 subs sub sub subscriptions, and mm, seen very, very few backlash videos. I don't know why. Backlash is coming around, you guys know I'm, I'm usually like the last person to do them, because I'll make sure all the matches are announced. But... Oh wait, before we get started on that, to the side, you have your three links. Um, Trademark 629, seriously, uh, that's uh, New York Sports Week. If you guys haven't subscribed to him yet, please do so. Like right now, please um, subscribe to him. So I need to make sure he gets all subscribers back. The other guys on there are really two of my favorite guys on here. Uh, ROH Styles and Spitternet. Spitternet, besides Sports Freak, is probably the guy I'm the better friends with here on YouTube. We talk on Skype a lot, and he's very knowledgeable, and I like how he gets to the point. I enjoy his videos very much, so please check out Spinternet if you haven't already. And ROH Styles, also know one of those guys. He was one of my first subscriptions. I like his videos. His political videos, sometimes I choose not to watch just because I refuse to get into that stuff. But <clears throat> I do watch. So, some I skip, some I watch. You know, I guess because he does know what he's talking about, and I need to... And maybe I should, like, hear his side of it. So, but he's very, very, very good with the wrestling, with the movies. He's the only guy on here I know besides myself who loves movies. Um, good with uh, music. He's really an all-around great guy here on YouTube. He just, he pretty much does everything. So, here, check him out. His link's to the side, too. So, that's Spinternet, ROH Styles, and Trademark 629. Okay, let's get to Backlash. Um, I am excited, I guess, for Backlash. I think it's going to be good, but I don't want to say anything. I thought WrestleMania would be good, and while I did think it was good, I, it didn't live up to my expectations. I expected it to be a 10. I give it an 8. I give it an 8 just because I thought it was better than No Way Out. And by law, you have to give it the same score or better. If No Way Out didn't exist, maybe WrestleMania would have gotten a 7, a 7.5. Maybe even an 8, but I'm not sure. Because the more I think of it, that Kid Rock segment really hurt me. And Lockdown, mm, I'm staying with my 5. Sacrifice does look it could look good, but I fucking predicted it. TNA, you better fucking do this right. I predicted that they would have a tag team tournament going in. You don't need to fucking put the quarterfinals on the pay-per-view. If they do that, I might not watch TNA for a long time. If they do that again, because that shows me they didn't learn their lesson and they're trying to get all the guys on the pay-per-view. Don't put the fucking quarterfinal matches on the pay-per-view. Do them on impact. Dude, you can even do the finals of the pay-per-view, and then you can have the winner fight Team 3D. I am looking forward to it as of late, because I know all the winners are guys I uh, haven't seen in the tag division as of late. 
If Beer Money wins, I'll be really disappointed. That doesn't advance any storylines. I would love to see The Amazing Grand, who was probably my favorite X Division wrestler in 04. I would love to see him. I would love to see his team win. I would like it if Eric Young's team wins, I guess. I, I think Trevor Murdoch is not really in. He was more of the agile fat guys. He did the, uh, the uh, Canadian Destroyer pretty well. I mean, some could do it better, but he did it pretty well. Um, the Brits, that's what I'm going to call them, the Brits. I like their team. I really just don't want your money to win. It doesn't establish much. So, let's fucking get to Backlash. I'll do this quick. Um, I hate the Santina segment. Fucking waste of my time. Hopefully, it's Santino Morella. He's a comedy genius. Maybe he can turn it. If, if he turns the segment funny, I, I wouldn't mind. I won't give it a rating, but if he turns the segment funny, I wouldn't mind. Um, I predict that Santina is not going to kiss the great Kali. I believe something's going to happen. Um, it might even lead to a match, which I don't want, but I just don't see it happening straightforward. CM Punk versus Kane. I, I've talked about this in my last video about the difference between, which is why I love Superstars so much. Superstars is like Saturday night, Saturday night's main event, where it kind of had like, it kind of, it kind of, Saturday night's main event was more of a trend, like previews to pay-per-views, but also sometimes feuds would be decided at Saturday night's main event. And it sets the boundary line. There's some feuds, see this is what WWE used to do, the feuds would be decided at pay-per-views, or feuds would just be decided on Raw. And there's some feuds that I thought would could have been good enough to appear on pay-per-view. Like, I think Punk Regal, back at the Royal Rumble, that could have been there. But, they choose not to and they put it on Raw. Superstars is that boundary line. They can settle feuds at Superstars, which I think is a great move. That's a great move by the WWE. So, I really like this move of Superstars. You can really, like, determine the boundary line between which feuds are important. Plus, a lot of guys will get more TV time. Superstars is good in my book. Okay, um, so like CM Punk vs. Kane, to me this feels like a Superstars feud. This doesn't really feel like a pay-per-view feud to me. Yeah, they've had a couple matches together, and I guess you had that ladder match thing, but there have been way more overhyped situations that didn't appear on pay-per-view. I just don't feel this is a pay-per-view match. This to me is a Superstars match. But, I guess, I guess maybe if, out of all the Superstars matches, this one can appear on pay-per-view. Um, I hope it's good. These guys can't have done well in the past. I like their kind of like mini feud in the summer of 07, uh, 08. It's going to be good. And I predict uh, if the money in the bank was on the line, which I wish it was, it would have made the, given the match something important because now we probably won't get an, now we won't get an Intercontinental or U.S. title match on here. If the money in the bank was on the line, then I, I'd care more about it. It's not. And since I do predict CM Punk, you obviously know what I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to have to predict CM Punk to win this one. Okay, next match. Um, I'm going to say... That, it's not really my order. It's just what I'm going to go by. Okay, so now we go to... Uh, let's go with Jericho and Steamboat. Um, I heard a rumor that Steamboat's returning full-time. I don't know if that's true. If this is Steamboat's one-time appearance, it really wouldn't surprise me if Jericho won. I know that's not what you guys were expecting. It really wouldn't surprise me if Jericho won if this was Steamboat's one-time appearance. They're kind of hyping it to be. I'm gonna pick Steam Mode anyways, just because it is a little out there, but it would it really wouldn't surprise me. If Steam Mode's coming back full time, then uh, then I could see Steam Mode winning since Jericho got the win at WrestleMania. That's that's the main reason why I think Steam Mode's gonna win. I said it wouldn't surprise me if Jericho won, but I think Steam Mode probably will win because Jericho got the pin at Mania. That's that's really the only logic I have behind this match. It was built in one day. Um, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, I quit match. I know everyone's saying Matt Hardy's gonna win because Jeff Hardy's leaving. First of all, those are rumors, which most likely can be true, but they can be false. Second of all, WWE wants to give Matt Hardy the majority of the feuds. I'm sorry, it'd be pretty fucking stupid to have Jeff lose every single match. I personally thought it was a bad idea to have Matt Hardy. It's not the way to, what, to, you want to make Jeff Hardy look weak so when he goes out, people won't care as much. No, people will always care. The fans will care as hard as they do about Jeff, no matter how high or low he is in the company. So, in my opinion, it really is a waste of time to have him lose all the matches just because you think you'll make him look, look weak and less over with the crowd. No, it won't. You might as well have him win one match at least. God, I hope it's this match. Really, it makes no sense for me to Matt Hardy to win every match, except maybe push Matt Hardy, which isn't a bad thing. But I really need Jeff to win, and I hope these guys deliver better than Mania. I like Mania, but kind of underdelivered. Which you're right, best to you channel. It did, but I thought it was still a good match and better than some of the matches at Lockdown. Championship match to Agro versus Christian. Everyone says Christian's gonna win. You know what? Everyone said Christian would win Money in the Bank, including myself. 
Tommy Dreamer is going to win the title. At least I, I hope he is. And you don't want Tommy Dreamer to beat Christian for the title. I think uh, WWE Bra said it best. Jack Swagger could lose, either win this match and keep going against Tommy Dreamer, or he could lose it to Vladimir Kozlov. And have Dreamer beat Kozlov and Dreamer retire the title. You can have Christian win, I guess, and then lose it to Kozlov in a month, but no one wants to see that. Seriously, I hope I'm gonna pick Jack Swagger to win here, cause Christian, I don't care. I love Christian, but I would rather I would rather Tommy Dreamer go out in the right way. If that means best, if that means holding off Christian Sutterway in a few months, so be it. Last one standing match. I predict John Cena winning and Punk cashing it in. Yes, I do predict the heel turn there and Cena moving to SmackDown. Uh, main event. Everyone says Randy Orton's gonna win. I don't know why. If WWE didn't do it at Mania, they wouldn't do it at Backlash, in my opinion. Triple H team is gonna win. And for Cena Edge match, I see I do see Punk turning heel there. And I'm done. Big rat. Three, ten, up, oh, peace. Send in your votes for your favorite YouTube shooter. Send in questions for a QA. Please.